back again. We're going to do second part of determining slope. Give the coordinates. Give the coordinates. So we talked about coordinates last time, right? We talked about coordinates last time. So uh, let's start with E. We're going to start with E All right here. E, here's our point of origin. Now, remember, I talked about having a really important point of origin. And so the point of origin is always right here. That's zero, zero. That's your point of origin. So just keep that in your mind. That's zero, zero, your point of origin. So from my point of origin, I moved a little bit. Now, first you go left or right. That's the first thing you do is you go left or right. And then you go up or down. Okay. So L is left, R is right. All right. And then up or down. Okay. So first we're going to go left or right. And we go one, two, three. So our coordinate is going to be negative three. All right. And then we went down one, two. Okay. All right. That's how we figured that out. Okay. So let's do uh, another one. Okay. F. We're going to work on F this time. So F is way up here. So we started our point of origin. And where do we go first? We go left to right. So we go one, two, three. So three. And then we went up. How many? One, two, three four, five. That's how we did that. Okay. All right. So let's do uh, G. All right. Let's do G. All right. So we're going to put our parentheses, our comma, and our parentheses. So G, we start here and we go left and right first, right? One, two. So we'll put a two here. And then we didn't go up or down at all. So we can say that's zero. That's zero. I'll put a slash through my zero so you know it's a zero and not a O. So that's why that looks different to some people. Okay. Okay. And now let's do H. Let's do H. So H is way down here. So first we go left or right. And we didn't move left or right at all. So that's going to be zero. We didn't move left or right at all. And now we're going to go down one, two, three, four. So that's negative four. And that's how we solved all of these problems. Remember, when we first start, when we're plotting, first we're going to go left or right. And that gives you your x okay and then second you go up or down and that gives you your y okay so first we go left or right then we go up or down that's how you figure that out left or right up or down. We're going to start where? We're going to start at our point of origin. And I've said this a couple of times. A point of origin is zero, zero. It's right here. It's where the zeros meet. And here's an interesting fact. Uh, so look, if I did this, let's say I drew a number line. All right. I drew a number line. All right. And when I have my number line, let's say I have zero right here that'll be one two three and this would be negative one so i owe people money negative two and negative three that's a number line but look we're also doing a number line this way and this way that's how we're coming up with the graph so this is zero and that's one two three and this is negative one negative two 
and so on. And that's how we work that out. So now you just learned how to solve, you know, when you have the coordinates. If you know what the coordinates or you know what the points are, now you can give the coordinates, okay? All right, that one is in the books.